Hello YouTube, this is Bull. We are going to be discussing Elite Boss Farming and Maple Story. We're going to start out with our Luminous here, and I'm going to bring my Kana onto the map, and we'll discuss why we do everything and what we're doing. The Luminous is chosen because they have a great mobbing ability, but I will discuss more options as the video continues. We are on Gold Beach, Orange Octopus, but that's not the only map you can use. You can use multitudes of maps. You can Elite Boss solo, or you can do it in a party. I would recommend a party of three. So let me first explain what Kishin is, and you get it from Kana. Okay, so we have our Kana out. The skill is called Kishin Sukan. Summons the demons Hana and Yuki, who attack enemies trapped between them. The demon strengthens dark energy on the map and decreases the monster respawn time. So it's a very useful skill for increasing the spawn rate and decreasing the amount of time it takes to spawn. So we're just going to double click to use the skill. Kana does not take MP pots, instead it recharges mana very quickly. You can continuously summon this skill over and over again until the mana runs out. Okay, so we're back to the Luminous. This is the world map. Default key is M. You can always check to see what level mobs are around you using this feature. You see a little red arrow that keeps pointing to the yellow dot. That's how you see what mobs are on the map that you're currently on and what level they are. You highlight your mouse over it. It says Seashell Octopus Slime, level 42. And the mobs here are equal to our level, so level 42 and 42 were, were even. If you want to summon an elite, you have to be within 19 levels. So, since these mobs are level 42, you need to be 23 to 61. That's when you could be here, and that's when you can summon elite mobs. Now, you can always gain experience from any mob, but in order to summon the elite, you need to have that level range at this map. Always take into account the 19 level difference, because you will not be able to get any of the bonus stage loot if you're outside that range. In this next section, we'll be summoning the elite boss, and I will be fast forwarding to speed up time as it takes about an hour to actually summon the elite boss. When summoning an elite boss, there are 22 stages involved. You can start and stop at any point during this process. To start a stage, you're required to be within 19 levels of the mob on the map and need to kill 120 of those regular mobs. Keep in mind, there's a 3 minute cooldown between each stage. After 120 mobs are killed, a message will appear in the middle of the screen, and an elite mob will summon. An elite mob is a larger version of the mob on the map, with more HP and special abilities. Killing that mob will drop rare items, and trigger another message to appear. Use these messages to keep track of your progress through stages. You will need to be on the map when messages appear in order to see them. After maintenance occurs, all maps are reset and will begin at stage 1. Let's go over stages. There is a total of 22 stages. When you summon an elite mob, a message on the screen will appear. The message says, powerful monsters have appeared within the dark energy. Stages 1 through 16, after you kill the elite mob, the message will say, the dark energy is still here, it's making the place quite grim. Stages 17 through 20, this message will appear. You feel something in the dark energy. Stage 21, you'll receive a warning screen message with yellow text and red border, and the screen will have a purple border around the edges. There will be two elite mobs and one elite boss. Stage 22 is the bonus stage, where you can obtain extra loot, experience, and mesos. Let's explain what a timer is and how it's used. A timer is basically anything you use to keep track of time in the game. We want to keep track of time between stages as to not waste time killing unnecessary mobs. Three of the most common timers are elite boss drops, dropping an item from your inventory, or using a clock. Between each stage, there is a 3 minute cooldown, which we are keeping track of. The time it takes for an item to despawn in game is 3 minutes. I prefer one of the elite mob drops since they are instanced. An instanced item is one that is dropped by killing a mob or boss. These items can only be seen and picked up by you. The elite mobs from all stages can drop instanced items to anyone who does one or more damage to it. Drop rate does affect all the elite mobs and highest drop rate applies to everyone. When the elite mob is killed, the drop rate is applied. 
Elite mob drops include Medal of Honor, Potions, Cubic Blade, Chaos Cubic Blade, Master Craftsman Cube, Protection Scroll, Safety Scroll, Innocent Scroll 50%, Golden Hammer 50%, Clean Slate Scroll 5%, Advanced Potential Scroll. The best loot from Elite Bosses is the Purple Boxes. Purple Treasure Box loot includes Safety Scroll, Protection Scroll, Innocent Scroll 50%, Epic Potential Scroll 50%, Clean Slate Scroll 10%, Meister Craftsman's Cube, Master Craftsman Cube, Unique Items, Chaos Scroll of Goodness 30%, Chaos Scroll 60%, Basic Bonus Potential Stamp, Intermediate Bonus Potential Stamp, Accelerator, or one of the five Elite Boss Soul Shards. In GMS, Purple Boxes are dropped by the Elite Boss. Each attacker must deal at least one damage to the Elite Boss to get a drop. The Elite Boss uses Cancel Magic and Cancel Weapon when it is summoned. This lasts for 25 seconds. When this ability is on, attackers only deal one damage for each attack. Loot is limited to one purple box per attacker. There is no limit to the number of attackers that can receive a purple box from the elite boss. Each account can only get a total of 20 purple boxes per day. There is a bonus purple treasure box that can be obtained by one attacker. To obtain the bonus box, the attacker must be within the level range of less than 39 to more than 19 levels of the mob and deal more than half the total damage to the elite boss. Rare treasure chest boxes will expire in 10 minutes if you do not open them. This is an anti-botting measure. In EMS, purple boxes are dropped in the bonus stage. Drop rate does affect the number of purple boxes dropped in the bonus stage. To obtain the most rewards during the bonus stage, you will want to try and grab three purple boxes. You cannot obtain more than three. Using the pickup button when a bubble is near you during the falling stages increases the chance that you pick up that bubble. Let's review Elite Bossing. There is a total of 22 stages, each stage requiring you to kill 120 of the regular mobs on the map in order to summon the Elite Mob and progress stages. There is a difference between GMS and EMS. GMS stands for Global Maple Story while EMS stands for European Maple Story. The similarity is the loot is still found in purple treasure boxes. Don't forget about the loot obtainable through Elite Mobs, utilizing drop rate modifiers and drop rate gear. You can also farm on multiple channels and in multiple parties. It is much easier to work as a party than to do it solo. Each channel and map has a unique stage counter. This means you can progress through stages on multiple maps and multiple channels at the same time. For example, you're at Gold Beach, Hard Wave Beach on Channel 1, currently just finished Stage 17. You're waiting for your 3 minute cooldown timer and progress the stage on that channel while you wait. Make sure to use timers in between stages so that you are not taking time away from maybe going to a different channel. Try to keep track of your stages as best you can so that you don't get lost or waste extra time. With my experience, it takes about an hour to go from stage 1 to stage 22 in order to receive loot. I recommend you take advantage of the item prices during fever or special occasions and looking up prices using your Owl of Minerva. I choose Luminous when elite bossing for a multitude of reasons. The main one being they have great mobbing abilities throughout their jobs. When a class has more mobbing, it means faster elite spawns and less time farming. Luminous also has a passive mana shield, which makes them not require potions when combined with a junior boogie familiar. You'll want to get at least one junior boogie familiar if you are going to elite boss farm with a Luminous. What the Junior Boogie Familiar does is continuously recover a large amount of MP while summoned. The Junior Boogie Familiar can be found on the maps between Six Path Crossway and Perion. Each Familiar can have a maximum of 3 Vitality, which would require you to get 3 cards and apply them to your Crusader Codex. 
When the familiar runs out of vitality, it will despawn. You will want to reset the vitality before it runs out by simply changing channels or entering the cash shop. Make sure you utilize the Kana's Kishin Shuken because it causes mobs to respawn instantly and boosts the spawn count of the map. When Kishin Shuken is applied to a map, the instant respawn stays until the server goes down, while the boosted spawn count remains until Kishin is no longer active in the map. Normally the spawn is refreshed every 5 seconds. But if Kishin is active, the spawn is refreshed immediately after the mob is killed. Utilize parties and guilds. Share your map and rewards. Just don't be that person who steals other people's map and hard work. There are five different versions of elite bosses, each representing one of the five explorer classes. The first one is the Rampart Cyborg. The second one is the Vicious Hunter. The third one is the Black Knight. The fourth one is the Mad Mage. And the fifth one is the Bad Brawler. These bosses have increased health with multiple abilities. They can also teleport around the map to attack you. These bosses will spawn in areas of Maple World and Gradius. They will not spawn in Singapore, themed dungeons, or party quests. There's three different bonus stages, each lasting 22 seconds. The first is the raining bubbles, in which bubbles will rain from the top of the map to the bottom. Touching the bubble will receive loot. The second is the mimic chest, which requires a normal attack to break open and obtain loot using the manual pickup to loot. The third is the flying mimics, in which the mimics will fly around the map and drop clustered bubbles. Touching the bubbles will receive loot. There was new runes released in GMS with the version .165 pink bean update. One rune in particular has affected elite boss stages. This rune is known as the rune of darkness. This rune summons a random number of elite mobs anywhere from one to four elite mobs at a time when the rune is activated. The way this rune affects stages is it allows for a stage skip per elite mob summoned. The rune can be used directly after completing a stage bypassing the three minute cooldown timer. For example, you complete stage 15 and summon four elite mobs from the Rune of Darkness during your three minute cooldown. Now after killing those four elite mobs, you are moved to stage 19 and must wait for the three minute cooldown to move to stage 20. To use the rune most effectively, activate it right after you complete the stage during your three minute cooldown. And that concludes how to elite boss farm. If you have any questions, or need help, feel free to leave a comment or visit me at twitch.tv slash 8ull. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.